Hello, this is Anneli. Um, today I'm making this. Um, I'm going to paint this board with my chalk paint. I'm going to use texture paint on top of this with a stencil. I'm going to use this to put it on, and then I'm going to use these molds. Um, some of them are from La May, some of them are from Molded. It's for a South African brand. If you're in South Africa, I will put the, the link in the in the comment section. Uh, so I'm going to use this to put this confetti cones into this. This is just an ordinary piece of support. And we just, um, let me just show you. And I'm going to use air dry clay, sorry. This is just a piece of support that we've put on, a, on these pieces of pine on the, on, on the bottom. And put a little bit of feet on top of this. So this, this can stand um, in like this and uh, yeah you can just watch me if I uh, there's a, 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 a few places in my it's got a little bit of love um, not nice screws so this is where I'm gonna put my my air dry clay to disguise this and maybe on the sides I will put also a, a mold just to round it up and look that it looks like nice so yeah you can just sit back and relax I'm gonna put my texture paste on with my stencil now after that I'm gonna put on my my air dry clay and uh, enjoy pour yourself a cup of coffee or tea and enjoy the ride I am also going to use this for a charcuterie um, f uh, cone that I'm gonna put some nice things in to eat and then I'm gonna use it for my for my cones for the confetti as well. I've already made my paste, I'm gonna do my my stencil now. I'm gonna use this stencil and I'm gonna put it in the corner. So I'm just gonna take my texture paste and I'm gonna start putting the texture paste over the my stencil here. Yeah. I'm going to do this side now. Just make sure you put something underneath here because it's going to drip through. Um, I'm just going to do this one, let this dry a little bit and then do these two. Just make sure you clean these holes also a little bit. Ah, just fix that. The texture base is a little bit too runny for my taste, but yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly put it in the sun to dry a little bit because I'm scared I'm going to smash this if I put my stencil across that one instead. And remember to clean your stencil, put it in the water when you're finished and wash it as soon as you get a chance because otherwise um, this can ruin your stencil. If you pa use paint, if you use texture paste, anything you use, just clean it afterwards quickly okay 
off to the sun and then I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's still a little bit wet, but I'm going to give it a try. I can see it's going a little bit onto this, so I'll just keep clearing just to this piece here. Now I'm just going to put my stencil on the water, quickly clean it and as soon as uh, then I'm going to start with my clay and then I'll let it dry everything. It's still a li little bit wet but I'm going to use my, my dust paper clay. And I've got these molds, I'm just going to do it just off screen. Um, if you would like to see how I do it, I've got a video uh, that you can just check out. So I'm just going to put this paper clay into this um, mold and I'm going to put it on the on the corners and on the sides where I want to uh, not that you can see that screws there that's very ugly so and I'm going to use my Gorilla wood glue just to glue it down and then I'll put the plastic over it to dry slowly and then uh, when that's done I'm gonna start to paint this. It's for a boa wedding so uh, I will see what I'm gonna put on the sides. So I've just taken out then I'll just take my, my wood glue I put it on while it's wet, I don't take it off when it's when it's dry. Then it's it's easier to mold it like this. I'm just gonna put this down here. I hope you can see this. Let me just check. Just press it down a little bit. Make sure I can maybe take it a little bit over the corner. And that's it. So I'm just going to do all the corners. I'm not going to bore you with this. And then I'll come back and I'll show you when I've finished. I'll see you in a bit. I just want to show you this one here. You can see it's where that ugly screws is. So I'm going to use this one. These ones actually, sorry. And uh, I'm going to put this paper clay on top of this so that it can hide the screw. And when I've finished it and I've painted it, you won't even know that there was something there. So I'm just slightly pressing it down, not too much, that you disturb your pattern. Now this one.
You can even use these ones um, when they dry and you, you need to put it on a very flat area. But if you want to mold it a little bit, I like to use it wet. It's just easier for me. And uh, I'm just pressing it down around the screw. And they have covered it up. You won't even know there was something there. Um, I also used these molded uh, silicone molds. I, I don't get paid or I'm not in sponsorship with them. But I love it. And if you're in South Africa, I will link it underneath. Um, they are wonderful. They are, I love it. So yeah, I'm, I've used these molded molds. You can see that one and that one for this. So I'm all, almost finished. I'm just going to put that same pattern here just to... Um, and I need to, to put this corner down as well. That looks like this. And then I'm going to let it dry and then I'll paint it. Okay, you can see I've put on the sides. I've put on the corners. For now, I'm just going to close it with plastic. I'm just going to put plastic everywhere so that it doesn't dry out too quick quickly. And then when it's dry, I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to paint it. Okay, I left this overnight. It's dry now. Even my clay embellishments is dry. So I'm going to start painting it with this um, Stefan. It's a choco paint from South Africa. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to give it one or two or three coats. But I'm just going to quickly paint this and uh, speed it up. I don't want to bore you with all the, the painting and so on. Okay, now I'm just going to let it dry, give it a second coat and then now I'm going to put the glaze on. Okay, this is dry now, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a, <coughs> a coat of this um, Le Glaze Antique. It's also from Petit Rouge. I'm going to put this over this everywhere. And then I'm going to wipe it away with a baby wipe as much as I like. And then I'm going to put on my Gilders paste. I've got an Inco Gold here. So I'm just going to put a generous coat, wipe it away, let it dry and put on the Gilders paste. So uh, I'm going to speed up some of these that they don't bore you.
I'm fully finished. I'm just going to give you a close up. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did to do this. You can see it's going to look, I think, very nice with my confetti in this. Um, if you'd liked it, please like and subscribe and hit that bell and then you can get future uploads of my videos. And uh, you must have a lovely day. See you next time.